Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 0.9 update. And today I'm going to tell you everything that I know about that's coming to the 0.9 update. Hopefully not everything, okay? So I still hope we're going to get one or two vehicles um, in the 0.9 update. But the first thing is the character creation. Um, we're going to get the new male models, just like we had the female models. And yeah, we can choose to have chest hair or to not have chest hair. We're going to have the second screen where we can define our character. So it's a really, really exciting part of the game. And definitely something that I'm looking forward to. So yeah, they're just showcasing once again that you can manipulate your body. They are going to remove tattoos for now. Um, because the character detail is going to be very high with high resolutions. And I don't know what problem it um, is causing at the moment, but they said they will make a plan to add tattoos back in the future. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm very happy that we can try and look a lot more unique. And then because of the tributes, um, our characters will be shaped differently depending on how much work you put into your character or what kind of character you want to have. Um, now, except for Tommy Slav showcasing the, the bulge here, um, I can see that when at the end of the video, he skips the intelligence tree and you will see at the end that the heavy weapons is not activated yet. And I thought the heavy weapons would be activated because of the rocket launcher and a new surprise that I'm going to show you guys just now. But you will see ends the video without showing the intelligence tree. And I think the intelligence tree is going to have a few more skills because of the brand new bunkers that we're going to be introduced to. Now, these are just the few faces that they showed um, earlier. Um, but looks like they used most of the developer faces. And here you can see this is what the fo uh, foot used to look like. And this is what the food is going to look like now. So again, um, like they said, high resolution um, models. And then, of course, the first thing that you're going to do when you start with the new update is there's paint cans that you will be able to collect after you've created your character. Uh, because you want to get a gun as fast as possible. And with the new update, there's about 29 different paint cans that will be able to um, skin your guns in these designs, okay? So Tommy Slav said 29 different paint cans that you can collect in the world or buy at the trader. Um, but of course, it won't be white. It won't be one color, guys. It will be this camouflage color. So there will be 29 different camouflage colors that you can apply on your guns and then, you know, something to play with. Um, I'll probably buy all 29 cans and just see what kind of colors I like, you know, and they write those colors down of those cans so that I can always um, make my guns that color. But of course, if you're in the desert, you probably want to have a brownish skin if, you, if camouflage is important to you. If you're in the snow, you'll probably want the white skin. Okay, again, just so that everything on you looks roughly the same color and you can blend in with the background. And then, of course, if you're in the forest, you're going to want to go with the green camo, okay? Um, so, yes, very, very um, interesting that we can customize not only our character to look very unique with the 0 0.9 update, but also our guns to give us some uniqueness. And then this is the surprise. The M249 is coming into the game. I think this is definite. Uh, we all know up to this point, the best AR rifle was the RPK that you could put the drum magazine on or the AK. Um, I'm definitely going to drop the AK for this gun. I don't really care how um, heavy it is. I think it's going to be a heck of a lot of fun. Um, of course, maybe the, the AK will still have the most penetrative power, but you guys, you gun fanatics in the comments can tell me whether you feel the AK or the M249 will penetrate 
um, the most with the bullets that it uses. I'm not 100% sure, but I just like the fact that there's a lot of bullets. Then when you've geared up, you're going to um, head to the new bunkers that they're going to add to the map. According to my knowledge, half at the moment, there's 25 bunkers on the island. But according to my knowledge, half of those. Now, it's very difficult to divide them in half precisely because 25 divided by 2 is 12 and a half. But um, that's what they said. Half of these bunkers are going to be the new bunkers, so you'll still be able to go to the um, old bunkers, but there will be these new locations that will be a lot more difficult. And there will be solar panels that you'll be able to con collect to put at your base. The bunkers will have a lot new mini games. This is the first mini game that you guys will see later in the video, where when you get to this keypad, two numbers will be used a lot. Like you can see only two numbers has been pressed a lot. And that out of those two numbers, you'll have to figure out a three code combination. And um, there's another mini game in the new bunkers that's got to do with the electronics and power. That's why I feel, that's why I think Tommy Slav hid the intelligence skills on purpose. So it will be very interesting to see if they give us a new skill in the intelligence tree. But just another mini game. I'm not sure how this one's going to work. And then this is another mini game in the new bunker that you'll have to figure out as well. So a heck of a lot new mini games that are coming in um, with the new bunker. So a lot, you know, a lot more skills to learn and um, get really good at. Um, they said NPCs could give you clues, but I don't think we're going to get NPCs at the start of 0 0.9. That's the theme over, you know, up, up until the full release. And then Tommy Slav, Slav said, you know, you, if there's no power or you don't have the skill, you can always just open the doors manually. So you guys don't have to worry if you struggle um, to learn the skills, you'll still be able to do, open the do doors normally. And then the biggest fear factor and the theme of the 0 0.9 Smoking Heart update is Mr. Brenner. I'm just going to call him Brenner. And if you see this thing in the bunker, I don't think you want to get close to it. Um, I don't know if it's going to open up automatically, but that container will contain Mr. Brenner. That will be the one of the new... Um, NPC, not NPC, like AI, you know, like an AI monster that you will get in the bunker is going to be very, very big. I hope he's going to be very, very tanky. Um, I really hope there's more danger to the bunkers. Like, I won't be very impressed if I can kill Mr. Brenner with a bow. So I feel it's very good to force players to have more um, artillery on them or to be to be more prepared because all of you know you can loot a bunker with a, a bow and arrow or just a good melee weapon. Now, this is going to be the size of Mr. Brenner. As you guys can see, he's very, very big. And you guys will see a video l later on of um, what he looks like roughly. But like I say, really, really good monster. I, th I hope he's very, very tanky and that you need like an RPK or a heck of a lot of bullets to kill it. This is roughly what what his early concept movement looked like. It's not to say that's what it's going to look like in the update, um, but th this is just a few con you know just this is just the early workings of them. And then he's not going to be alone. So Mr. Brenner is going to be the main danger, but blades. I'm just going to call him blades. These blade blade AI creatures I feel are going to be the biggest threat. Um, in the bunkers or a constant threat because I don't think there's going to be more than one Brenner per bunker but there's going to be a lot of these blade characters and this blade character will introduce a new mini game um, if any of you have ever been attacked by a shark you know there's a mini game to get um, out of the shark's jaws and this guy's going to have a mini game as well where he leaps on you and then you're going to have to play a mini game to get rid of him. And this is what the mini game is going to look like. Okay. In the little clip that you will see later on in the video, the character that got attacked received a heck of a lot of damage at some point. Um, I don't know if that is because of the Blades character or maybe the character or maybe his friend that was trying to save him shot him by mistake. But, um, you know, this is going to be very, very exciting. As you guys can see, 
and that's going to be roughly the size of Mr. Brenner. Um, I'm very excited to see if he's got any weak spots. Um, like I say, I hope he's got a heck of a lot of health. Um, we can already set the puppet's damage, but we can't set the puppet's health. I would really like it if we if we are able to set the puppet's health in the future. Then they just said the these new bunkers will have different um, color codes. I don't have all the information yet, but Tommy Slav said, you know, we can try and figure out for ourselves what these color codes mean. So these are different levels in the bunker. So green for me means safe, like uh, like a traffic light, okay? So I feel green is you're not in much danger. You know, you can probably survive without major artillery on you. Yellow probably means danger is on the way. Okay, and then the the purple, uh, maybe I would have liked if the purple was red, you know, which would be more clear, but maybe the purple is where the best loot is, like purple loot in MMOs and stuff like that. So maybe purple just means that's where you're going to get the best loot. So I think maybe it's loot related, you know, like green loot and then other loot. And then here yeah, you guys can see these guys are very, very fast. Unfortunately, they did most of the videos without night vision, so you can't see a lot. But like I say, um, Brenner is going to be a big danger, but I think these Blades characters are going to be insane as well. And these Blade characters hide in the corners, so I do feel that, an, uh, that stealth is going to be very, very important in these new bunkers and probably awareness as well. But you can't see the character there in the corner, but it's one of those Blades characters that are hiding. And here's just a, a showcase of the, you know, of how, the, what the bunker layout is going to look like. And yeah, um, very, very happy that we're going to be able to explore new things like a lot of us wanted a new map, you know? But here's <laughs> Mr. Breder in action. Oh, <laughs> 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 So there you guys saw a few of the mini games and this is just where they showcase another mini game. So there are going to be things to learn. There are going to be new challenges. There are going to be you know, things that, that you will be able to be better at. And then other players, I'm very interested to figure all these things out for you guys because I am going to dedicate myself to the game um, probably over eight hours a day. I've already taken time off my personal business to try and see if I can do this full time. So I'll be playing about six hours on my a day on my main server survival evolved and then i'll be pr probably playing two hours on the most difficult server i've ever created which is the meat grinder and then i'll be promoting my members only server which is ti but yeah guys i'm very very excited for the future um of scum of course they're going to focus on the ai at this present moment I know not all of us are extremely happy about the lack of vehicles that we have gotten. Um, but like the dev said, they are going to update the game even after the full release. And yes, um, I just hope everything 
runs relatively smoothly. Um, my son Blue um, noted that after they killed that blade, the blade um, AI went right back to where he was before he jumped. Um, so there will be a few things that aren't working absolutely perfectly. Um, but I, I just hope their overall experience is a lot of fun, um, you know, a breath of fresh air. And like I said, a lot of us wanted a new map, but they're giving us new locations, new enemies, new things to figure out, um, you know, giving us a chance to look more unique. And there is actually um, a chance to have a BCU upgrade. Now, nobody knows what the BCU upgrade involves, but looks like because of these bunkers, at some point, you will be able to upgrade your BCU unit. I don't know how this is going to, going to help you in game, but I do know that I am quite excited. I am going to be dedicated to Scum up until the end of December. And if you guys ever want to see, want to laugh and have fun with a really great community, I will be streaming, my son will be streaming, Avenger that's in my team will be streaming, and Motex will be streaming. But Blue, me, and um, Motex um, will be streaming from three different teams, okay? So you guys can come and watch my stream where I just basically goof off most of the time and have fun or Blue's team where he just wants to kill everyone, or Motex team where they basically want to raid everyone. Okay, you guys will see three very different playing styles. And tomorrow, which is the 2nd of August, you can come to the dev Twitch stream, um, which is going to um, start at 6, you know, 6 o'clock CET time. Um, I think the devs said they're going to have a, a Twitch stream before our event starts. So I'm going to be in the event. So you guys can come and watch the stream where I participate in the event. It's usually the top 40 content creators that they're allowing to these events. So if you guys want to see the new update in action, please come and join the stream tomorrow. And then if the devs have a small small like chat with us before the community event starts i'll try and stream that for you guys as well that they can explain a few things to us and maybe tell us what their future plans are okay um and yeah very very excited about it so see you guys tomorrow uh, if you enjoyed this video do me a favor and click that like button and if you want to see like I say, a heck of a lot of different angles and dedicated gameplay where I'm actually going to try and hit end game, where I'm going to try and create a character with eight triple five attributes. And then I'll, I'm going to try and build the most epic base that I've ever built with the, with the best defenses and um, try and raid at least once every second weekend. Come and join me on Survival Evolved. Um, and then my Discord link is down below. You guys can come and join the Discord, come and ha hang out with an awesome community, and just have a heck of a lot of fun. I'm very excited, guys. I hope you guys are too. See you in the next update. Cheers.